Sup my dudes, Valk here, and here today, last patch basically, uh, not this patch, but last patch, Ichigo got buffed, full holo Ichigo got buffed, and he's actually really damn strong right now, uh, just the only thing is that he's tied to a bleed applicator, so that really limits his team right now, because there's not a whole lot of bleed units in the game, uh, if you go over here, you look, you go to category, and, uh, not category, you go to passive, and just bleeding, right? You can look, there's not a whole lot of units that actually apply bleed, much less are there any units that apply them in full AoE. I believe Blood Queen is the only one who does bleed in full AoE, I could be wrong in that. But yeah, there's not a whole lot of units that are really good at applying bleed in a manner that actually is really good for him. So, he's very limited in his team selection, but he's pretty strong in whenever he can be used. So let's go ahead, let's see exactly what Full Hollow Ichigo can do. By going to an infinite, we have this kind of wacky team that I kind of just threw together um, just to be able to get the team going. We have Hadon for the Bloodthirsty 2 that's going to apply anemia, that's going to make this Ichigo hit that much harder. And then we have Blood Queen obviously to apply the bleed, that way we can get the uh, Bloodthirsty. Um, there's another thing that this team's not really going to be able to utilize super well is the fact that Ichigo can be affected by leader. So because Ichigo can be affected by leader, he can do a ton of damage that way. Uh, but like I said, we're not going to really be able to utilize that. I'm going to try to just pick at the beginning for quite a while. I'm going to keep picking, um, what is it? I'm going to keep picking <laughs> brain fart range. Uh, simply because I want the range early on because I think it's going to be super helpful. So we're going to go ahead put a Mooge, not here, we'll put Mooge here for now. Uh, just put a couple Mooges down back here just in case they are able to push by this Ichigo. Uh, that way we don't got to worry about them like really getting through too far. Uh, because even if Mooge is off category, Mooge is still Mooge. Mooge is very, very, very strong, so it's going to be just good to have. So we're going to go ahead and just get this up right away. And once this is maxed out, like I said, we gotta keep picking range for a little bit. So once this is maxed out, we'll be good to go. Um, yeah, we're just gonna keep picking this. Keep upgrading our super idol. And once it's maxed out, we'll be able to go ahead and start working on Ichigo and getting his attack up. And then once his race attack is finished, uh, between all three copies, we can start putting down the rest of the team because at that point, there's no more scaling needed. And we can start working on getting basically the whole team going. Gonna be super cool. Super pog. So let's go ahead. Let's get into it. And let's just keep on trucking. And yeah. Now we can finally start putting all of them down. Gotta remember to do that. Almost, almost brain farted again. Wouldn't have been good. Alright, so we're gonna do this. We're going to go here. And basically you want to get him to his seto. Um, if we don't lag out, that is. Okay, so now here, you can see he's very expensive. But, he's already at, like, what is this? Before any raise attack, he's at a mill. So, yeah. Really, really strong unit now. Uh, super, super strong. Just very expensive, very pricey unit. But, really, really good damage once he actually gets up and running. And you do everything he needs you to do. So, we have one more copy left. Like I said, we're going to pick range until, like, we can basically full cover the map with Ichigo. So, that's going to be a little bit because his range is not super, super crazy. Uh, and uh, I feel like it's better to not to run Flower Magician specifically with this team. So, yeah, now we're just going to kind of chill out, let them ramp up. As they ramp up, you guys can see his three placement. As they ramp up, we just relax and let him do this this is another buff that happened if you go back and look at the logs you guys can see his raise attack is much much faster now so i don't imagine this is going to take too too long uh but his raise attack is way faster now so he's able to really really get up there really quickly you can even use him in progressive now modes now probably um you can definitely use him there uh just a super super strong bloodthirsty unit and he stayed bloodthirsty because he doesn't really need bloodthirsty too because of how high his damage gets. And it would kind of invalidate bloodthirsty too um, if he was able to just become too good at it, right? So yeah, you guys can see 2.65 million uh, with bloodthirsty. So that's going to make it so he hits really hard uh, whenever it's all said and done. So yeah, we're going to pick this one more time. And I believe this Ichigo is done. I'm going to go ahead and go up one. 2.76, 2.76, yeah. 
Uh, this one's not done yet. He's still got some going to go. And then we're going to work on everything else. So, yeah. We don't even have the Blood Queen buff down yet. That's going to be like a big deal. All right. So 2.76 million, and now we're going to put down Blood Queen. Um, we're going to put them down kind of scattered. And you guys can see whenever he gets a Blood Queen buff, how much he gets up to. 4 million even. That's pretty funny. Uh, 4.16 million. Uh, I kind of want it till he covers. I want to keep going till he covers the whole map. So yeah, we're going to put another Blood Queen right here. And then another one right here. And then we're also going to put down Hadon right here. One, two, three. Hadon's going to be really good because he's going to apply Bloodthirsty 2, which is going to apply Nemia. Nemia is going to buff up the Bloodthirsty 1 damage. So yeah, you kind of got this whole team working in synergy uh, right here. You can see Hadon's attacks. That isn't anything insane, insane um, without the Naruto buff. So yeah. Okay, so next up we're going to put Shanks. Shanks is not on the category, so we can do some fun stuff with Shanks. Actually, we have so much range, we might as well just put Shanks dead center of the map. Uh, like here-ish. Yeah, we got so much range, it just doesn't make sense to do anything else. So we're going to go ahead and do this. We're going to go ahead and do this. And then we're going to go ahead and do this. Alright, now with all the Shanks up, we're going to wait till 32 seconds. As usual, uh, I like 32 because it gives you like a wiggle room um, for like messing up a click like that. Like you guys can see, I had, because I was talking, so I had a little brain fart. Uh, but yeah... Uh, 32 gives you a little bit of wiggle room so you can make mistakes so you guys can see his range here like I said we're just gonna keep picking range until we are maxed out on that and now for Le Mooj um, where do I want to put Mooj? Mooj is gonna be important just to put all the Mooj's together that way they can just you know haha -ha funny and make it rain effects because Mooj is very very silly so now with this going, we can see we almost have Mooj, all the Mooj is done as well. We're just going to be chilling. We're just going to keep picking range until Ichigo, like I said, covers the entire map. And he does. Okay, cool. Now we don't need to do that anymore. So now we can kind of hang out. Let's go ahead. That, I believe there's one more Mooj, right? Yeah. Alright, so now... Like, you guys can see exactly where this is going. I think now I can start just straight up picking attack and start running up with that. Uh, I would like to pick more range, though, honestly, because then Shanks could potentially cover more. I'll keep picking range. Uh, I feel like this team doesn't need too much attack amp because of everything it has going for it. So I think it's going to be better for me just to pick more range constantly. And just keep upping the range. Uh, that way there's more coverage between the bleed application and all that so yeah here you can see bleed 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 and now we just kind of chill out because like i said this is uh you'll see at the end exactly how much damage these ichigos are doing they are doing some serious damage uh really really insane damage i think the only people who might be able to match him is like mooj and stuff and he's really 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 good like i said the only thing that sucks about him and it's something that I I wish was easier to fix was how restrictive he is. It's the fact that Bloodthirsty needs bleeding. The only good full AoE bleed right now is Blood Queen, who's an event limited unit, and she also applies a category buff, uh, the Bloody Hunt or whatever it's called, Blood Moon category buff that makes it so now you cannot apply leader to uh, Ichigo basically. So, the only unit he's able to really be ran with in tandem is Blood Queen. If you were able to kind of separate him from Blood Queen with like maybe another full AoE bleed unit that doesn't have a category buffer, um, then you have the capabilities of running him with Leader and getting a really, really high attack stat. His attack stat can go to the absolute moon with Leader. Uh, it's just the fact that you need a bleed unit to be able to actually fully utilize this Ichigo. Uh, you have to have a bleed unit because Bloodthirsty gives you so much more damage. Uh, you guys can see here, Bloodthirsty, 250% attack damage to bleeding enemy. It's really good. It's really, really, really good. So, let's go ahead and just watch what happens now. 
Oh, you can see Hadon actually is almost full range too. That's pretty funny. What about you? Eh. Eh, you're fine where you are. I'll start going attack now. Yeah, it's good enough. Yeah, you can see how much he covers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll start going attack after this. Yep. Uh, this is basically it. Now we wait. Because I'm pretty sure this is going to last quite a while. Because we have Mooj and Shanks for CC. Um, these two alone should be able to lock up the enemies quite a bit. To allow the Ichigo to actually... Yeah, you guys can see. To allow the Ichigo to basically do his thing and do his damage. And just absolutely pop off speaking of mooj where is her range at yeah we can start going attack now uh that's that is good enough we can start going straight up damage now so yeah you guys can see the amount of damage that comes out it's it's really wacky uh you you'll see by the time this is all done how much damage does ichigo can get up to a little bit laggy a little a wee little bit but i'm pretty sure it's on my end um yeah kind of silly i know a lot of people are wondering about an update this weekend and i'm gonna be real i'm right there with you guys i have no idea what's happening i even at being a tester with this game uh there's a lot of stuff i don't know till the last minute i i genuinely have no idea what's going on so if you guys are wondering about an update this weekend i don't know i i genuinely don't i don't know what's happening uh but yeah anyways uh yeah we're just uh chilling and watching what happens and a look at this one zombie just push it on down dude and now he's dead and he lived a good life uh zombie mark is really funny really funny thing i love zombie mark all right so did one of them just crit our land superpower i think they did that's pretty funny yeah like i said you guys can see the damage just start skyrocketing whenever the enemies can actually live for a bit which is funny to say, but it's honestly the truth. Is the damage is just going to start going through the roof the second the enemies can actually survive for a second. So, what a lot of things we have here. I know some people are probably going to point out the fact that Mooj and Shanks don't really play nice together. And it's partly true. It mostly just depends on Mooj's RNG. But at the same time, Shanks and Mooj, do, they do pretty fine together. Uh, you can see the amount of debuffs uh, Mooj is able to stack up on the enemy. It's, it's a little bit. A small amount um so yeah let's go ahead pick attack you guys can see like mooj's damage in comparison and then we look at full hollow ichigo's six bill each like nothing else even comes close this is the big issue with the full hollow ichigo although he's insanely powerful he is he's a very very powerful unit right now super super strong um it's the fact that any team he's on, he takes so many resources to get running that he is the team. He takes one, two units just to be able to start maximizing his DPS. And this is even counting like a category buffer because Blood Queen is a category buffer. So Blood Queen applies the full AoE bleed, full AoE bloodthirsty 2 for anemia. And then you have to have the debuffers. Like he's the only real damage unit you can bring on side of a team. This is kind of his big weakness is the fact that he's really the only damage unit you can have inside of one of these teams even though his damage is absolutely ridiculous it really is like look at look at this damage look just look at it go he's at 13 bill right now just solo running it down uh his damage is absolutely ridiculous he takes so many resources to actually get up and running that there's just better teams and better options uh so it's not really worth it to run full hollow ichigo even though he is this absolute behemoth of a unit. Like, he is super, super, super strong. There's just no reason to run him whenever you could just run other teams that have, instead of one strong unit, have four, right? Uh, that's just basically why you guys probably won't see him on, like, a top ten, despite him being as powerful as he is. He is very, very powerful. It's simply because he just, there's just, like I said, just better options. This is better teams. Uh, but he is a very, 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 very powerful unit. He's super, super strong. I never got around to make a video on him just because I got really busy. Uh, but now that I have a moment to actually chill out and relax, I've been wanting to make this video for a minute because I've known about this since the uh, buff and I've been wanting to share this with you guys because it's just how good he is. He's really nuts. Uh, a really, 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 really crazy unit. 
Yeah, you can see I'm, I'm at wave 102. Haven't really struggled yet. Just been chilling. Um, haven't really had to think about anything. He's at almost 40 billion age, what, 40 billion damage a copy almost, right? 34, 34, 34, yeah. 36 on the main copy. Or on the first one, I should say. Yeah, you guys can see. Like, he's doing like almost a billion a hit. Like, the damage he starts racking up later on is in. Look at this damage, just rack up, dude. It's insane the amount of damage he just starts racking up. It's so crazy. Yeah, he's doing like. I think he's doing over a bill a hit now. Yeah, you can see the multi hits kick up and he does over a bill a hit now. Yeah. Yeah, this. It's crazy, crazy damage. I'm pretty sure if people on the leaderboards realize how strong he is and find a way to properly utilize him, you could probably see him start being used more in the leaderboard. But I feel like this is a very underrated unit. Probably won't be after I make this video. But I feel like this is a very underrated unit because of how strong he is. You guys can see I'm getting to wave 111, 10 million score all on my own with just, just Ichigo. With ju literally just Ichigo. Ichigo is very, very, very strong. He just takes, like I say, just takes a ton of resources to actually get up and running. But this is probably a unit a lot of people are sleeping on simply because he takes so many resources that nobody bothered to give him a try. And now we have this absolutely beautiful monster on our hands. So I'm waiting to see the enemies moving again before I hit this. I do want to hit this. I want to try to see how far I can get. Because I'm already at a 10 mil score. Which is very impressive. Uh, but I want to see how far I can get. There we go. Alright. So now, let me go ahead and take this 100 billion damage screenshot. Sheesh. Uh, sheesh. Crazy, crazy. 100 billion damage. At 10.3 million score. Not bad if I do say so myself. Uh, full hollow Ichigo is an absolute monster. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.